Hello everyone and welcome back to the letters B. My name is Bobby and today I have something special for you. A viewer of mine asked me if I could make a tutorial about a specific transition used in a video from the athlete Fraser Wilson. So I contacted Fraser to ask him for his permission to use this video as a reference in my tutorial. Gladly he said yes, so I want to give him a shout out for being that friendly and be sure to check out his channel that is linked in the video description. The transition I'm going to show you today is a smooth zoom in. Please keep in mind that because of me re-rendering his video, the quality dropped slightly. To start off the tutorial, we are going to add two clips to make the transition happen. Then we are going to open the pan and crop tool of our first clip and go 10 frames forward in the timeline. After that, we're going to zoom in, so we are going to change the width value from 1920 to 1820. This way, we create a slight movement what's going to help us to make the transition look even smoother. Then we are going another 10 frames forward, but this time we're going to zoom in a little more drastically so we can change the value from 1820 to 5. After that, we're going to add the effect Radio Blur and choose the preset Weak Proportional. Be sure to set the strength value to 0. Then, you're going to hit the clock icon, go 10 frames forward in the timeline and add another keyframe. From this point, you simply go another 10 frames forward and increase the strength value to 500. This will create an upbuilding radial blur. After we are done with the first part of the transition, we are only missing the second one that works pretty much the same. First, we are going to drag the second clip above the first one. Be sure to move it 10 frames to the left so when the first clip is ending, the second one is starting. You can use the marker while pushing M on your keyboard to help yourself out and know the keyframe distance better. Add a fade in into your second clip and open up the pan and crop tool. You're going to go 10 frames forward in the timeline and drop the width value from 1920 to 1420. This way you create the second part of the transition. Then, you simply go to the end of your timeline and reduce the width value once again from 1420 to 1320. This way you create a constant movement which lets the transition look a lot smoother. After that, you add Radio Blur with the same preset as before to the second clip, change the strength value to 500, click on the clock icon, move 10 frames forward and reduce the blur to zero. A last thing I want to mention is that all these zoom in values, as well as the blur ones, are only examples. If you have footage that has a smaller resolution, you won't zoom in too crazy, otherwise you're gonna lose a lot of quality. The only exception is for very fast transitions. Play around the settings, pull the keyframes closer or make the gap bigger, zoom in a little less or even more, it's all up to you. This is something you need to learn because copying values from a video might help you at the first try, maybe for the second, but you want to use this technique I'm teaching you for all your projects. So be sure to practice as much as you can. At the end, this will make you an even better editor. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Sometimes it's kind of hard to explain every single step and I really don't want to miss out on something because I want to make sure that you actually understand what I'm talking about. If you want to support the channel and keep me going, be sure to subscribe, like and comment so I can actually see that I could help you. I really appreciate every single one of you and you are the biggest motivation to create even more cool tutorials.